Alright folks, the much anticipated by maybe like three people, Honor is Dead Part 2. For those of you who actually listen to this, that have listened to my other things, I thank you a ton. For those of you that have been waiting for this and are still willing to wait and you're actually going to listen to this now, I thank you as well. And uh, all of you, thank you very much. I'm going to begin right where I left off from part one. I'm now in the middle of my room, not in the closet anymore. Things might not be as nice as they were before, but uh, I will do my best. Okay. Um, my voice is a little raspy for some reason right now, so you're going to have to deal with that for now. But until I get back into the groove of things, things are going to just probably feel a little different. But thank you very much. And here we go. Me, I stole a herd of chull, the man said. He had a raspy voice, like sheets of paper rubbing together. If I'd taken one chull, they might have just beaten me. But a whole herd, seventeen head. He chuckled to himself, admiring his own audacity. In the far corner of the wagon, someone coughed again. They were a sorry lot even for slaves. Weak, sickly, underfed. Some, like Kaladin, were repeat runaways, though Kaladin was the only one with a Shosh brand. They were the most worthless of a worthless cast, purchased at a steep discount. They were probably being taken for resale in a remote place where men were desperate for labor. There were plenty of small independent cities along the coast of the unclaimed hills. Places where Voren rules governing the use of slaves were just a distant rumor. Coming this way was dangerous. These lands were ruled by nobody, and by cutting across open land and staying away from established trade routes, Tivlak could easily run afoul of unemployed mercenaries. Men who had no honor and no fear of slaughtering a slave master and his slaves in order to steal a few chulls and wagons. Men who had no honor. Were there men who had honor? No, Calden thought. Honor died eight months ago. So, asked the scraggly bearded man, what did you do to get me a slave? Kaladin raised his arm against the bars again. How did you get caught? Odd thing that, the man said. Kaladin hadn't answered the question, but he had replied. That seemed enough. It was a woman, of course. Should have known she'd sell me. Shouldn't have stolen shells. Too slow. Horses would have been better. The man laughed riotously. Horses? What do you think, me, a madman? If I'd been caught stealing those, I'd have been hanged. Joel's at least only heard me a slave's brand. Kaladin glanced to the side. This man's forehead brand was older than Kaladin's. The skin around the scar faded to white. What was that glyph pair? Sauce Marum, Kaladin said. It was the High Lord's district where the man had originally been branded. The man looked up with shock. Hey, you know glyphs? Several of the slaves nearby stared at this oddity. You must have an even better story than I thought, friend. Kaladin stared out over those grasses blowing in the mild breeze. Whenever the wind picked up, the more sensitive of the grass stalks shrank down into their burrows, leaving the landscape patchy, like the coat of a sickly horse. That windspring was still there, moving between patches of grass. How long had I been following him? At least a couple of months now. That was downright odd. Maybe it wasn't the same one. They were impossible to tell apart. Well, the man prodded. Why are you here? There are many reasons why I'm here, Calden said. Failures, crimes, betrayals. Probably the same for most every one of us. Around him, several of the men grunted in agreement. One of those grunts then degenerated into a hacking cough. Persistent coughing, a part of Kaladin's mind thought, accompanied by an excess of phlegm and fevered mumbling at night. Sounds like the grindings. Well, the talkative man said, perhaps I should ask a different question, be more specific, that's what my mother always said. Say what you mean and ask for what you want. What's the story of you getting that first brand of yours? Kaladin sat, feeling the wagon thump and roll beneath him. I killed a light eyes. His unnamed companion whistled again, this time even more appreciative than before. 
I'm surprised they let you live. Killing the Light Eyes isn't why I was made a slave, Kaladin said. It's the one I didn't kill that's the problem. How's that? Kaladin shook his head and stopped answering the talkative man's questions. The man eventually wandered to the front of the wagon's cage and sat down, staring at his bare feet. Okay, folks. So that is going to be the end of part two. They are obviously going to be noticeably shorter than before, but that's just so I can get them recorded and um, touched up, take out all the and all the and all the <coughs> and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but it's just so I can just get them recorded and touched up and made into a video and uploaded all within shut up computer, all within about an hour and maybe an hour and a half because I just don't have the time for that all that anymore. But um. So they're going to come in little bite-sized chunks like this for now on, but hopefully I can try to get them out once every two or three days. It's just kind of hard with work and my girlfriend and just a lot of work. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys next time for another couple of pages of Honor is Dead. It will be Honor is Dead Part 3. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Comments, likes, subscriptions, suggestions, messages, anything. I still have that Facebook page, probably. Um, anything you want. If you want to be friends on Facebook, just search for Eric Silva and friend me. Um, yeah, anything you want to do, uh, I will. I'm there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it's so short. They're Like I said, they're going to come in little chunks like that. And have yourselves awesome nights. Also, just want to give an amazing little shout out to my favorite voice actors, which would be Troy Baker. He is one of my favorite voice actors ever. Actually, it's probably really the only voice... Oh, well, Nolan North is pretty awesome, but... If you guys like voices, go listen to their voices, because they have pretty awesome voices. There's a whole bunch of other ones that are awesome, like voice actresses and all that. Um, I just... Uh, I, I like this type of stuff, and... I think you guys should definitely give a listen to all these people. They're really good. And, um... I hope you all enjoyed... And also, oh my god, Breaking Bad, watch that show, it's amazing, and it's also ending. So I'll talk to you folks later. Goodbye.